welcome. This is my third video in a row. I'm filming. Yay for me. <laughs> Anyways, um, so today's video, it is a Ipsy Glam Back Plus versus OxyCharm Premium. Now, they're both technically owned by Ipsy. They used to be separate entities, but Ipsy bought out BoxyCharm, so now they're both under Ipsy. So in reality, it's almost like Ipsy versus Ipsy. But yeah, there's some thoughts on that, that's for sure. Premium with taxes is about 40, I think 41, something like that. The Gambach Pus is 30 something change. So it's a, it is a ten dollar difference. Because of that, the premium technically does have more value in retail than this. But I am gonna base the winner on which of the boxes I find more exciting. Which one has items that I'm more looking forward to using? Not completely based on the price because, like I said, this has a lesser value than this. So let's start with the premium. I'm not going to go too thoroughly on this because I just did my BoxyCharm Premium Box um, dedicated video and the Ipsy Glam Back Plus dedicated video, so I'll link those two videos at the end of this one so you can see the more detailed information on that. So it is the theme for BoxyCharm Premium Boxy Spring Revival. Get a card for this. I got the... Natasha Dorana Cupid Cheek Duo. Give you a quick look. This is $42. The Murad Clarifying Oil Free Water Gel. This is $46. Love Murad, so I was happy to get this. Next is the Indato Organics Hydrating Lip Balm, $25. You hear growling, that's my stomach. If I feel, if it looks like I'm a little bit. Low energy is probably because I am I am tired. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. That's adding to it too. And next is the Herbivore Bochuco Retinol Alternative Smoothing Serum. This is fifty four dollars. And this is glass. I love the purple color because um purple is my favorite color. <laughs> And Mitchell and Peach English, I gotta look this because I can't read that part. <laughs> English Leaf Body Oil. Here it is. And this is glass too. This is um, $68. $68 for body oil. No, no, no. And this is Plaque Liquid Eyeliner by My Beauty Brand by Me. I don't know if that's an actual brand name. It's a little confusing. Um, twenty dollars. I'm not gonna show you the open it. Let's show you the tip because um, I don't wear eyeliner, so this definitely will be given away. That is everything. For the premium. Like I said, I'm not going to go on thorough detail because I do that in the dedicated video. Now, the value of this box is $255. Let's move on to Ipsy. First is the Farrah brushes, four piece, and they do have 
daisies inside as well. So it's so cute. It matches this, literally. So, <laughs> so this is a face set for $46. No, $46? I don't think so. Nom, nom, nom. Next is the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass Setting Powder. This $18 and this is what it looks like here's the puff puff oh my god <laughs> this might work better than my regular brush because whenever I put um um setting powder it just flows everywhere like it just creates a whole bunch of dust so maybe this would work out better with a little puff, it might be less um, extra. Right. Next up is the Ahava Time to Clear Purifying Mud Mask. $36. I mean, I do have oily acne from skin, and I should exfoliate my face at least twice a week to control the oil and help lessen the chances of acne because I am acne prone but I am so lazy I don't do that I haven't done it in a while and I really need to start doing that next is the studio makeup flawless skin foundation in oat deep I don't like the fact this is white because it will get so dirty. $30. And last but not least is the Laura Geller Prep Stick Lip Scrub for $21. Here it is, the color of the lip scrub. It smells like bubble gum, guys. Like I just want to act. But no, I'm not gonna do that. Like Boxy, there is a theme, and it is keep growing. Now, the total for the Ipsy is $151, as you can tell. The premium has six full size items. The Ipsy Glam Bag Plus has five. Both are supposed to be based on um, your profile. What is your preference? What's your skin tone? What's your undertone? You know, all of that stuff. Um, the difference is that with the premium, you only get to customize two of the six. The Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is Ipsy chooses two of the five products for you and then the remaining three are chosen by you the only thing about it is that they give you options with each of the three options so it's not like you can choose three from all of this you, it's no option you choice three these are the products is available to you option four this is what we're offering option five this is what it is so that is the one downside I would say is that because there are months where I've loved like two or three products from a single choice but then it's not offered on choice four or five so you're gonna have to figure out which one you like from that one of the two or three options you really like in that one option which one you want the most and then hope that maybe it's on the add-on so you can add it on after you make the choices there's other months I found that I don't like the choices and I'm choosing the best of the worst. Yeah, so <laughs> it's there's some advantages and disadvantages. Now, yes, if we're being technical on the price, BoxyCharm would win based on that because BoxyCharm has a value of $255 versus the $151 to Ipsy. I'm going to choose a winner based on which box I like more, even though I'm not going to lie, I'm not too impressed with either one, but I'm going to choose. 
let's see first what am I more excited about for the Ipsy is the setting powder I've been wanting to try it I Dawson raves about it pretty much like a holy grail for her so she's only prone like me and I'm like I've been wanting this for a while wanting to try it so I love that um the foundation is kind of a is a question mark because of the shape but I know every makeup company has a different version of what it means to have a medium neutral undertone because I've tried a few where I've chosen the medium neutral and it's way too deep and then I've had the opposite end with other companies or it's way too light so not until I try it can I, I I can't say for sure but if this is an indication of what oat deep is it might work it might not I just have to try it on the skin because I know some foundation oxidizes so that could be a problem I like the lip scrub because obviously we have to, you know, have to take care of your lips. Super important. So I do actually like that. The brushes. If I was building my makeup brush collection, I would say I love this. this is, I will get, I say it's super cute with the daisy design, but um, I have so many brushes that... <laughs> Brushes don't excite me anymore, so I'm like, eh, brushes. I have so many exfoliating masks, mud masks, you know, all this that I'm like, oh, you know, not another one. But what I like about this is that this, you only have to leave on for two minutes. The other ones I have, it's like anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, so... This is why, even though I'm not excited, I like the fact that it's a two-minute mud mask. And then you can rinse it off. So that is the advantage. Now, let's go over the premium. Natasha Nonono. Yes, I saw the spoilers and I wanted this. And so happy I got it. I'm happy I got it. So this is the most exciting thing from this box. Murad. I use their toner, cleanser, and moisturizer. They are pricey. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Every time I have to restock my um, cleanser and toner and moisturizer, I, I cry a little because of how expensive it is. But they saved my skin from acne so bad that um, I'll pay the price for, you know, so my skin doesn't get that bad ever again. So I do like this a lot. I love the fact it is literally from their oily acne prone acne prone um, line because they have different lines depending on what skin issue might be having. So I love that. So I am excited about this. Everything else. I don't wear eyeliner. I have rated like two or three other eyeliners and I have put like one star and I literally put I don't wear eyeliner. Yet they still put it in here. Yeah. I don't wear body oils. So that pretty much tells you. I am excited about this though. I think I have one already or I may have decluttered it. I have to see it through my skincare collection. If I did declutter it, I'm happy I have it back. If I have it still... And I haven't tried it because, you know, it's obviously one face and there's only so much skincare you can put on your face. Um, so this is, if I have it, either I'm going to give it away or I'm going to keep it because retinols are expensive. Very expensive. So if I don't have to buy another one and I have it already, I do like this. So the lip balm. It's a lip balm. That's all I'm going to say. Am I going to use it? Yes. So there's that, but I'm not excited about it. I'm like, oh my god! Now is this lip balm magically is gonna put itself on, you know, on my lips, and I don't have to lift up my arm to do it and put the effort to do it. It's just a lip balm. 
But in reality, only three things are the things that I'm going to say is I'm super excited to, I'm glad I have them. The other three are like, <laughs> two of them unknown, and this one is like, eh. So for me, the winner is Ipsy. I love the ratio, because to me, I have four makeup item, makeup category items, and one skincare. The premium, to me, it splits even. I have three makeup and three skincare personal, personal care items. And considering one of those makeup items, I'm not going to use the eyeliner. I'm not going to use the body oil at all. It's just, yeah, two of the f six items already, I'm like, it's a no-go for me already. So it's the Ipsy. Ipsy ones for me. So that kind of tells you, you know, Boxy doesn't always win. <laughs> but then again, Boxy is owned by Ipsy, like I said. So um, there's that. We'll see next month if I do this video because honestly, whether or not I get the box is just based on the spoilers. If the spoilers don't excite me, I just don't get the box anymore. Unfortunately, with BoxyCharm, I don't understand why, but they still haven't included a pause or a skip um, option, which I really, really wish they would do that, but they don't. I don't know why. It's really annoying because you have to cancel, and then if you're interested in signing up, you have to... Well, luckily, they save your email so you can re-sign up, which doesn't take long, but it's just... It's annoying. So we are... I'll see if I end up doing another video like this. Because like I said, I don't know for sure I'm going to get the premium box again next month. Let alone the Ipsy Glam Up Plus. Based on spoilers. Which I do post on my channel, so go check that out. Another rambly video. But you know, it's been a while since I filmed. Like three weeks now. <laughs> Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.